hello and welcome to another video today I've got a video from 2020 which was an ad that I did with ORS for their new fix it line and I absolutely loved the product since and I've actually bought some in the Black Friday sale this year so definitely stay stick around if you want to find out how I achieved this style so here I'm parting my hair and I started with hair that has been um, moisturized and twisted into different sections so I had to take it down to create the part. So what I'm doing now is I am parting my hair, the front half of my hair and then leaving a bit on the side as you can see now. And it's definitely a struggle to part your hair if you've got type 4 hair it's no joke so what I do is I start with the rat tail comb and then I use my fingernails having nails really really helps with parting my hair so at the time I had long nails which I find to be very helpful when it comes to parting I am so sorry for how I sound I am not feeling well at the moment so if it just sounds a bit muffled it's because I'm unwell so now that I've parted my hair I moisturized it with some water and then I'm going in with the ORS hairdress it's very moisturizing I love the texture of it I love thick creams my hair loves thick creams because it just gives my hair so much moisture so yeah i really really love this product and my husband has used it and he loved it as well so here i'm just applying it to my hair and my hairline as well never forget your hairline it needs moisture just like any part of your hair so i am parting my hair in a slanted sort of angle as you can see because the final result of this is a lopsided bun and I'm going to be doing flat twists. So I'm going to go in with the castor oil grip gel. This gel is literally the truth. It gives a very strong hold. It's not drying and I absolutely love it. I loved it so much that I actually bought some and did a giveaway with it after my ad with ORS. So yeah i usually like to follow up with the argon oil um just to make sure that it doesn't create a cast it didn't but just do it for for moisture and just a protection in case it did give a white cast so massage that in and then start flat twisting if you're not able to do the traditional two strand flat twisting then this is the technique for you it's super easy so this is it all done and i'm just gonna hold it with elastic bands you have to make sure that it's not too tight because it will pull out your hair and you do not want that so yeah definitely be mindful of that so i went off camera to finish all of it and after i placed the elastic bands on the end i then twisted the rest of the hair and as you can see the twists the flat twists are sort of like long on the left side of my hair and then when it gets to the right side they kind of become short and that is to give that lopsided sort of bun situation so moving on to the bun now i am just moisturizing my hair first with some water and then i'm going in again with the fortified hair cream because just before protective styling I like to make sure that my hair is super moisturized and will not dry out Before I apply the gel to my bun area, I make sure to, to wet my hair because gel or any product works better on wet to damp hair because that's what really helps to, to set the style. So I like to use a lot of water in my hair. So I'm going in with the grip gel again and as you can see it's very gooey. 
and I'm just going in at the at the back of my hair and smoothing it up towards my crown so I think I went back in again because I like to build up my gel instead of just use too much in the first go and then I am going in with the tangle teaser to just make sure that I distribute the product everywhere and just to further help smooth down my hair So here I'm just pulling my hair um, towards the crown and just making sure that it, it lays flat. You want your bun to be really smooth. To hold my bun I am using cut up tights and that is pantyhose as the Americans would say and that's what I'm using to hold up my bun and as you can see I am pushing the left side of the bun closer to my crown and not touching the right hand side at all and that is to give that lopsided kind of situation for my bun. So I'm going in again with more gel. As I, as I said before I like to build up my products so yeah i'm going in to make sure that it lays even flat and then i'm following up with the oil so here i'm just tying down my hair to really lay it flat whilst i tend to the rest of the bun so what i did with the bun is i went in and loose twisted all my hair and obviously we all know how to loose twist so I'm just going to fast forward this bit and then come back when it's done to continue the rest of the style so the reason why I like to put my hair in loose twist when styling is that it helps keep my hair moisturized for longer and it also helps um, to reduce tangles when my hair is pinned down because there's going to be a lot of touching and you know how our hair likes to get and doing these loose twists really protect my end and the rest of my hair from single strand knots and knots in general it also means that when i come to take down my bun my hair is still detangled as it was before I put it in so it's always a win-win for me so that's why I put my hair in loose twist so as you can see I left this in to really just show you guys that when it comes to my styles I really just play with it until it falls the way I want it to and here I was just moving around different twists placing them if you looked wrong i'd remove it try again and if it looked okay then i would um put it back and pin it so that's really the process of how i style my hair and i would like to encourage you guys to do the same hairstyling is all about experimenting nobody knows you and your hair more than you do and you should be comfortable enough to just try different things and see what sticks and really that's what gives me the confidence to wear my hair out as I do because I, I'm not afraid to try and I have fun doing it. So yeah, definitely play with your hair more and by doing so you will just fall in love with it more. So after the gel dried, I took it down and then continued with the, with the rest of my hair. now i am just applying some gel to my edges i don't usually do this but i think for certain styles it's it just goes with the style and it's nice to do it but it's not necessary the style will still be beautiful regardless but it was just an added thing that i did i guess just to show you guys that you can use the gel for your edges it's really good 
this gel is also very good for wigs and that is one of the reasons why they created it it just so happens that you can also use it on your natural hair so it's definitely a win-win so i'm just tying down my scarf to just help my edges lay down a little bit smooth I'm just puffing off my loose twist now you guys know I love my buns to have texture be puffy and big um yeah this is the final result i absolutely love this hairstyle let me know if you will try this and thank you for watching if you stay till the end and if you've tried these products let me know as well and what you think and i shall see you in my next video bye